My political history began when I was an undergraduate at Tufts University back in the 1960s. It was a time of political tumult and I got very swept up in the anti-war movement in uh, civil rights work. In fact, I was participated in some demonstrations on campus. My first visit to the president's office was uninvited. I've had a, a, a fair number of careers and jobs in my in my 50-year career now, but political engagement has been a continuous thread. I started by selling $50 tickets to the Red Tavern Inn in Methuen, Massachusetts for a state senator. I'd been involved in five presidential campaigns before Obama. I guess I knew my way around the track a little bit. When the campaign was over, people were approached about whether they wanted to serve in the administration. But I was also asked around that time whether I'd be interested in serving in an embassy. And I said, well, if my wife and I have that option, we'd certainly like to consider that. And then one Sunday afternoon, I was sitting in this office at this desk. My phone rang. And it was this fellow, he said, would, would you be willing to go to Madrid? And I, I let out a scream. My wife was in the other room. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, um, I ran in and I said, we're going to Spain. I was confirmed by the Senate at the very last session in, the, in 2009. I like to say that that the United States Senate cast two historic votes on that day. One was for health care reform, because they were taking that up, and the other was to confirm Alan Solomon to become the U.S. Ambassador to Spain. <laughs> One of the unique aspects of the, of the job of ambassadors, everyone reports to the United States Ambassador. So every federal employee in Spain, with the exception of soldiers under combat command, report to the ambassador. And that gives you an enormous amount of authority. One of the realities of the job is that Washington doesn't have the bandwidth to, ma to manage all of these bilateral relationships. We have 180 of them or 190 or whatever. So we really depend on embassies and on ambassadors to manage those relationships. There isn't that much oversight. This is a serious job. The relationships we have with allies and with adversaries are really important in terms of our peace and our economic security. My job is to forge a partnership with my host countries that reflects our shared interests and advances American interests. There's an inscription in the lobby of the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library, which reflects sort of my belief in politics. Uh, the inscription reads, this library is dedicated to the memory of John F. Kennedy, our 35th president, and to all those who through the art of politics seek a new and better world. And that's what I sort of grew up with. That's what I started to learn as an undergraduate at Tufts, and that's been sort of what I've carried through over the years.